Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking at the limit as x approaches 1 of x cubed minus 1 over the square root of x minus 1. We're asked to use numerical and graphical evidence to guess the value of this limit. So first, numerical evidence. As x approaches 1, we have to plug in values getting closer and closer to x and take the value of this function, which we can call f of x. So if we take x at 0 0.9, 0 0.99, 0 0.999, right, values getting closer and closer to 1, we can see that f of x is equal to 5.281, 5.925, and 5.992. These values are getting closer and closer to 6. Same thing if we approach 1 from the right, so 1.1, 1.01, 1.001. f of x goes 6.782, 6.075, 6.008. These numbers are getting closer and closer to 6. Therefore, we can say the value of the limit is equal to 6. And if we graph the function, that's the other part they want us to test, we can also see that at x is equal to 1, the function is equal to 6. So that's good. That means that, um, or not that it's equal to 6, because um, if we plug in 1 into the function, then we'll be dividing by 0, so it's actually undefined, but we can just look at the uh, general shape of the function and see that it approaches this value of 1, 6. Um, so we know that we got the uh, correct limit through our uh, numerical approximations. So then in part B, we're asked how close does uh, x have to be to 1 to ensure that the function in part A is within a distance of 0 0.5 from its limit. So if it's equal to 6, right, we're asking how far away or how close does x have to be to be between, um, sorry, not 6.05, 6.5 and 5.5, right? At what point are those values um, contained within the x values, right? And so if we graph these two lines, 6.5 and 5.5, and we can zoom in on the function and say, okay, um, what is the x values for these points? We can see we have 0 0.9314 and 1.063. So x has to be within, right, this is for A, for B, 0 0.93 and 1.06. And if it's within this range, then the limit is within 0 0.5 of 6. 